Hello friends and welcome back to the Wilbers of Maine Chocolate Confections, where today we will be showing you how we follow the traditional Needham candy recipe from 1872. We boil and mash the Maine potatoes, mix it with confectionery sugar and coconut, hand form the candies, and drench them in our rich dark chocolate using our own roping machine. All while we learn the unbelievably true tale of how Maine's original Needhams got their name. In 2015, the New England Historical Society published an article quoting author John Gold, who in 1986 wrote about the commonly accepted story of the origin of the Needham candy. As the story goes, according to his obituary in the New York Times Philadelphia edition on February 2, 1902, George C. Needham was born in Ireland in 1840 and was kidnapped aboard an English ship bound for South America at the age of 10. The captain and crew were very mean to him, tying him to the mast and tattooing his entire body. He was dumped on a deserted area of Patagonia where he was found by a tribe of cannibals. As they were preparing him for a feast, they found his tattoos and being superstitious, they let him go. After returning to civilization, he eventually became a faith healer, preaching that religion will make you beautiful. By November 1892, he had made his way to New England and become quite a popular figure. So popular, in fact, that when local candy maker, Mr. Seavey, created the amazing square potato candy and needed a name, he thought of the popular preacher, George C. Needham a man as unusual as the candy itself. The Wilbur family thanks you again for joining us here at the factory in Freeport, Maine. We invite you to subscribe to this channel as we try to post new chocolate videos every week. And please follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and at wilburs.com for information on upcoming specials and events.